At the plate now, Billy Anderson. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. As he grounds one briskly to short, he's got it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Pitch right here, right now. Let's go. To the plate now, Anderson. Billy Anderson, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. The tag gets one on to first as they get the double play. To now that at the plate, Billy Anderson, and on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Rutherford gets under it and makes. 8-3 tonight. The Charlotte Knights get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Matthew Thompson earns his eighth victory of the season. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson, as he lifts it in the air to right field. Rutherford is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. He can hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Into the box now, Billy Anderson as he hits one on a line field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to. In now, Billy Anderson. 0 oh, and 1 the count. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line toward the alley in left center. And that'll make him 1 for 4 in this one. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Tonight's game comes to an end on the final score. Charlotte took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. So here is Mark Griffith. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound. Relax a little bit and establish that good fastball. So we get the strikeout on the changeup. Mark Griffith is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and fouled off. His bounce towards short. In time to first, and there are two away. Rodriguez. At the pump, Randy Rodriguez batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Grounded to third, right to him. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Next in at the plate is Blake Rutherford, and it's grounded just foul down the line. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been get he or his club have been hoping for. To second, but they throw it away. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. 
Standing in now, Luis Gonzalez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to. Well, the side is as they make the play. To the plate now, Jazz Chisholm. As he'll go out to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. And there's one away. Into the box, Brian Navarretto. And he fouls this one off. 258 the average to begin play. Eight home runs and 34 driven in. Behind 0-2 now. Scooped up. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping in now, the Varnway. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. At the plate, Andres Nunez. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He'll enter play here with that at in the low 200s. Seven homers and 25 driven in. Osuna has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. So now to the plate, Mark Griffith, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. In now, Jason Irizarry. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Strike 2 is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball. Rodriguez. To the plate now, Randy Rodriguez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's a base hit, their first of the game. At the plate now, Blake Rutherford. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul. The 0 1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Moran will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Standing in now, Luis Gonzalez. Strike one to start the at bat. Popped him up. Ravello is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Into the box now, Jazz Chisholm. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a sinker there, swung on and missed. Into the box, Brian Navarretto. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Stepping in now, Ryan LaVarnway. He swings and hits it foul off to the right. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. To the plate now, Andres Nunez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Here's a pop up now. Ravello in foul ground. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Griffith. At the plate, Mark Griffith. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. Softly hit to short. He's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first. A tough play. In now, Jason Irizarry. And he puts it on the ground to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. 
At the plate now, Randy Rodriguez. As he'll swing and pop it up the infield. Alexander is there, and they breeze through this half inning. So now to the plate, Blake Rutherford. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw on to in time, one away. Now batting. The center fielder, Luis Gonzalez. Into the box now, Luis Gonzalez. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for the extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. The third baseman, number four, Jazz Chisholm. Stepping in now, Jazz Chisholm. As the first to him is in there for a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him strikes on the inside half. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled away. Liner to the left side. And he's safe. At the plate, Brian Navarretto. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Moran is there, two gone. To the plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Right there, and it's quickly Owen. Pitch for both sides. Grounded to short. Cleanly, and the two out threat won't pay off the inning. Is Nunez as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Hard hit ball to short, scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Griffith. Standing in now, Mark Griffith as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. No At the plate now, Jason Irizarry. He'll swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Ravello is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side. Rodriguez. Into the box, Randy Rodriguez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one for three thus far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Stepping in now, Blake Rutherford. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Turned on but it's wide of first and foul. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Nope. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Count is 1 and 2 now. Lifted in the air out to left. Hernandez is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Now At the plate, Luis Gonzalez, Gonzalez as he takes a cold strike. Oh. Knees, it's 0 and 1. Barely able to make contact, down 0 and 2 now. Hit to third, right to him. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. A 5 nothing finish tonight. The Gwinnett Stripers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Billy and...
He's knocking on the door of the big leagues and he's doing it as a two-way player. Jenny Finch is with me. Jenny, based on so far, what can we expect of him as a two-way player in the show? It's gonna be a struggle. He has a lot to prove. All eyes are gonna be on him, but he's been able to have success at every single level. And he's proving all those naysayers wrong. It's, it's gonna be exciting to watch it pan out. Jenny, there's gonna be a lot of attention focused on him if and when he gets the call, what advice would you give him to deal with that attention? I would just say, you know, it's it's one day at a time, one pitch at a time. Be who you are and um, take it one step at a time. And, and don't get all involved in the hype. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Just keep playing. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. Back up the middle. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Now batting. Right so down. now to the plate, Billy, Billy Anderson. Anderson. He grounds it sharply to third. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Anderson. <laughs> in now, Billy Anderson. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He tracked and that will end the inning. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Redbirds oh, took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. David Price takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. No strike to count. At batting average for him at 355. Still without a home run, 13 RBIs. Grounder down the line at third. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that will catters here in the second. Peter Gasper has been summoned from the bullpen. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battle, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. Anderson. Now, Billy Anderson as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. On a line, that's a base hit in the field. 
Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plane. Standing in now, Billy Anderson into the right side. And that'll be a base hit. So right away, the possible tying run is aboard to start the bottom of the seventh. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. A dive, but... to the plate now Billy Anderson as he lifts it in the air to right field eats him up a bit throw coming quickly and the winning run moves up to third now with only this evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally Jason Sinclair wins his fourth game out of the Well, as prospects make their way up the minor league ranks, there are obstacles they have to deal with, and not all of them are on the field. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me today, and Jim, a lot of those challenges are the mental ones. I definitely, I mean... Bouncer to the left side. And that's out number one. Henry Batista takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12. Our final line score, first for the victorious Redbirds, seven runs are left ahead, no errors, and they left no runners on base. So here is Kramer Robertson. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Tried to check it in its own one. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. One two coming. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning in now Raider Escanio as he will take stress ball here no balls and a strike batting average down in the low two tens no home runs as of yet nine driven in Anderson isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games it's not that he isn't capable I'm sure he just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity Matty V I'm not sure but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup going to be a long day uh, we'll have to press pause is that. Into the box, Luke and Baker. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He'll start this one at 274. Nine homers and 48 driven in. 
Ramos a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. At the plate now Johnny Justin Kirk. Turner the white field. ball one first okay. chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Ready to deliver the one and four strikeouts already and that's out number two. Into the box Malcolm Nunez as the first pitch to him is in there for a one. In there strike two. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So Dan what was your approach in 2 counts. My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non competitive and the right fielder is there to make the catch. Anderson. Standing in now Billy Anderson as he swings and grounds it toward the hole a dive he's got it at the plate Andrew Kisner lifted in the air to center Grimes is right there one down stepping in now Nick and it's grounded just foul down the line. 289 is the average coming in. Four home runs and 36 RBIs. Called for strike two. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Matthew Librator swing and a little blooper to center. And Tuna moving to his left. And the inning. At the plate now, Kramer Robertson. First time up, he went down looking. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And a good throw gets him one gone. Into the box, Raider Escanio. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Now here's a comebacker back down. Just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Into the box now. Connor has he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Beats him easily and the side is retired. Anderson. To the plate now. Anderson. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. But this will hang up long enough for the center fielder to run it down. And Number two. Stepping in now, Luke and Baker. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. A weak grounder down the first base and in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. In now, Justin Turner. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Struck out in his first at bat. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. At the plate, Malcolm Nunez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Line to the right side. Base hit, and they're into the. Standing in now, Andrew Kisner, as he grounds one briskly to short. Field. So they do get the. Into the box, Nick Plummer. Piece of it, strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. 
man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really now kept back. these hitters off no balance. Pitch. So it was a swinging strike three. Nick Plummer is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Matthew Tour becomes out number two this inning. Kramer Robertson swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Ramos is in his tracks now. He will put it away to retire the side. Anderson. Into the box now. Billy Anderson back up the middle and in for a base hit. Ramos rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag and he's safe. They've taken the lead. Plate now, Raider Escanio. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Osuna has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Stepping in now, Connor Capel. This pitch is popped up. Ravello waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Luke and Baker. Now batting. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Behind 0 and 2 now. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides. The good command of the off speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Step on the bag himself, and the inning. Now, Billy Anderson. Anderson, liner toward right center, and that's in there. Base hit, the throw home. And he is at the plate, and the lead is now three to nothing. Standing in now, Justin Turner, as the changeup to him drops in there for the no hits to this point. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Ramos, a range to his left and down in left center for the first down. To the plate now, Malcolm Nunez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. That pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky. He's on. He's got everything working. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. So now to the plate, Andrew Kisner. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. And low with Frank. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. On to first, it's a double play. Stepping in now, Nick Plummer. As the first pitch to him is a changeup. Find the zone, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Swing and a miss for strike one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball, one and two now. This is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Irving will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Swing and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward act. Racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Irving Lopez goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. He's hitless in three at this point. 
He makes the catch, and they have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. And this is a 3 nothing shutout win. Gwinnett jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Billy Anderson earns win number four on the season. A manager admonishes his pitching staff for giving away too many free bases. At the plate, Billy Anderson hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. Into the box, Billy Anderson. As he'll go out and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. At the plate now, Billy Anderson, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. He's got it. And there are two away now. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Now a ball lined to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Gwinnett Stripers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Anderson. In now, Billy Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. And that's second out. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. Liner towards second. First base hit, making one for two now. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. 
Lopez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson, swing and a liner. The insurance lead off. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. He swings and lines it to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. Billy Anderson. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Marquez ranging into the outfield. He's there to track it down. Now that designated hitter, Billy. Into the box. Billy Anderson as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's working on a one for two game so far. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will wind up a foul ball. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. To second for one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. Anderson. Into the box. Billy Anderson. Hit hard back up the middle. And that is in to center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. Insurance run comes across to score from second. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. And he puts it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. A 6 to 4 finish in tonight's affair. The Our Gwinnett Stripers. Well, if you've listened to the podcast before, you know that I'm all in on this guy, this two-way player. Some people doubt him. I don't. I really think this can work, and he's starting to show it at AAA, really knocking on the door of the major leagues. And who better to talk about the major leagues than John Paul Morosi of MLB Network, who joins the pod today. Hi, Azupardi is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Now a ball rolls softly to second, scooped up, and he will whip this one over to first, in out. In now, Adam Hall, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing. The average coming in, 257, two home runs, and 38 runs batted in. 
A ball and two strikes now. Temperature at first pitch. There it is. 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Swing. This looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Stepping in now, Robert Byrne. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Next to bat is Tristan Casas. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. One. The number's coming in. He's at 255. 22 home runs. And 83 runs batted in. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And At the plate, Kyle Stowers. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Ramos has it, and it's a quick out number one. At the plate now, Gunnar Henderson. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Pacheco. Into the box, Gil Pacheco. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He'll work on keeping this top and alive. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Got him swinging. And that will end. Lopez. So now to the plate. Claudio Lopez. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. In now, Dan Navarro lifted down the left. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. Now, Ty Azopardi, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Stepping in now, Adam Hall. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got a swing and a miss. That retires. At the plate, Robert Byrne, as he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He collected a base hit his first time up. And he's in trouble now, 0-2. Now the pitch. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And there's out number one. Standing in now, Tristan Casas. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. High and deep to right center. Grimes is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. So now to the plate, Kyle Stowers. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Called strike 0 and 2. And a fastball called strike 3. Leading off for Into the box now, Gunnar Henderson. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Pacheco. To the plate now, Gil Pacheco. He swings and hits it to the right and out of play. Struck out in his first at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind. Now the pitch. Nope. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in Triple A. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Stepping in now, Claudio Lopez. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. 
one and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Into the windup and the pitch. And he struck him out. His seven. At the plate now, Dan Navarro. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. A ball and a strike. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. At the plate, Ty Azapardi, 0 and 1 the count. Behind 0 and 2 now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Thing and he, this is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Into the box, Adam Hall. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. In now, Robert Byrne. This one's flared off to the right side. Hernandez is there. One pitch, one out. To the plate now, Tristan. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Grounded to third. Fielded clean. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. So now to the plus towers. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hit hard towards, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Into the box now, Gunnar Henderson. No hits to this point. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Boy, he's been great in this one. He one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, one and two. And he will strike him out. Pacheco. Stepping in now, Gil Pacheco, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike low for two for him to this point. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Well, obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Misses, I'm not quite sure. This is foul right side. Now another one two. Little chopper back to the mound. Reined in. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. At the plate now Claudio Lopez. A ball of no strikes. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike. You could tell by the hitters balance after that. He's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there and I expect him to catch something clean. Heading out towards shallow right. Osuna in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Into the box, Dan Navarro. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. To short. He's got it. Over to first, and that retires the side. Azupardi. In now, Ty Azupardi. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. A 1 1 is taken for strike two. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all his stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. 
fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So now to the plate, Adam Hall. As he'll take a look at ball one. So far this season, Hall is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for his strike one and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. To the plate now, Robert Byrne. Strike one to start the at bat. And fouled away. Hall, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Standing in now, Kristen Cossets. No balls and a strike to count. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Fouled off. Looking for the complete game. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. The Gwinnett Stripers get their 20th home win this year. Billy Anderson earned his fifth win of the year, striking out 12 in the process. Anderson. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. Rounds it sharply to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first. Now the into the box, Billy Anderson. Anderson. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. Liner in there for a base. He'll get it into second. Now Pat, the designated hitter, Billy Anderson. In now, Billy Anderson. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. It's there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. And this evening's contest comes to a close 5 3 the final the Our Gwinnett final Stripers line. jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back on 11 hits, no errors they left nine runners on base. Anderson. Stepping in now Billy Anderson. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Francisco will get there and he puts it away to retire the. Now that right field. The plate now, Billy Anderson. Anderson. Liner toward right center. In there, a base hit. The throw to third. Oh, and he's not going to make it to third as he's gunned down by the right fielder. And that's it. Standing in now, Billy Anderson as he drives a liner to right. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Now batting, right fielder. Billy At the plate Anderson. now, Billy Anderson. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And big time as this ought to tie the ball game and maybe even get him a lead. And the second run is across as well, and they'll claim the lead here at six to five. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms.
Okay, look, it's not fair. We know this. It is not fair to compare prospects to established stars to other young phenoms. But sometimes it's just too fun not to do it. Sean Casey joins me today. Sean, I know you love watching this young guy play. What is his world like right now as he's rocketing up prospect lists? Well, I think the biggest thing when you when you're when you're a minor leaguer and then all of a sudden you start to have a lot of success and you start rocketing to that top prospect in baseball, it's an exciting time. Because you are paying attention. When you're young like that, too, you're fired up to take a look at who you're being compared to when they think you're going to get to the big leagues and everything. So this is a really fun time to, to, to be elevating your game, knowing that your dream of coming to the big, of getting to the big leagues is, is going to be happening soon. And certainly in your own minor league career, you crossed paths with some rising prospects, though you were no slouch yourself, but you had to come up against one of the best of his era, Andrew Jones, as he rose. In, 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 when I played against Andrew Jones in the minor leagues, you know, there's certain prospects, and then there's just guys that you know are going to be superstars in the big leagues. Andrew Jones was that for all of us that were in the minor leagues. I mean, there's a lot of good players in the minors, but when you see a once-in-a-generation type player like Andrew Jones, it, it, it's unbelievable to watch him arise. And, and I know that year he ended up being in the World Series with the Braves against the Yankees, hitting a bunch of home runs, and I was like, I know that guy. I, I just played the Myers against him, but he passed everybody, you know? <laughs>